Right guys, so in this tutorial we're actually going to be writing our very first program in Python. So previously we've just been writing little lines of Python in the Python shell and what I want to do now is actually write a program that you can run so you can say you've written your first computer program in Python rather than just one line at a time. So I'm going to show you how to open up files and write Python code in them, save those files and then run them all using the Python IDLE. So you should have it installed already it's, uh, if you've seen the first tutorial or you've just used Python before for some reason. So we're going to go ahead and get straight into it by writing our Hello World application which is a very common application for you to write if you're new to programming or just new to a particular programming language just to get the hang of the syntax and stuff like that. So we're going to use some of the skills that we've uh, learned previously to be able to uh, write a more complex program after we've done this, but I just want to do a really simple program just so that you get used to the workflow and using files and Python and all that sort of thing. So let's go and get started. You can see on my screen here, I'm just going to go to File and then New File. Remember, because previously we just wrote lines of Python in this Python shell here, but now we're actually going to save our code into a, a completely separate file. So, I'm just going to save this for now. I just did Control uh, Command S here on, on my Mac, but you can do File Save as well. So, I'm just going to go to a folder and say uh, Hello World. Now notice here that I've got a .py extension in the title of this file and if you don't have that it means that the IDLE won't necessarily recognize that it's a Python file so it won't give you the color coding which is really helpful when you're programming in Python so always make sure you put that .py extension if your window doesn't do it for you automatically. So I'm going to go ahead and save that file and so now we can see we've got the file location, the version of Python which I'm going to be using and the actual name of the file at the top there. So I mentioned in the last video as well there's a function called print so what that's going to give us is an output to the console so we could just do output 5 and then what that should do is output 5 to the shell but how do we actually get this code to run in the Python shell because if we hit enter it's just going to go down the line and then we'll be able to write another another line if we want to but that's not what we want to do, we want to run the file so the easiest way of doing that is going to run and then run module you can also press F5 um, I should point out though if you're on Mac you might have these function keys at the top uh, you can't see my keyboard but I've got lots of different functions uh, related to the Mac o operating system on my laptop so if you're on a Mac you might have to press function and then F5 to get the code to run. Now it's asking me if I want to save the file because I've edited it since I've last saved the file. So you can see this asterisk here, it means the file is unsaved uh, or at least I've made changes to it since the file has last changed. So I'm going to go ahead and, and press OK on that. And now we can see it's restarted this application and we get the correct output which is what we were expecting, we were expecting it to output 5 which is great. So now we're going to sort of continue to evolve this application. So now that we've written our first Python application uh, what we can do is also write a string in here. So print cannot just be numbers like 5, it can also be strings. So the hello world application is basically just making a computer say hello world for the first time. So what we can do is hello world and this is a very common application, as I mentioned, to uh, write when you're first getting started with programming. So we can go ahead and save that, and then it says hello world, which is great. That's essentially your first Python application. And if you haven't, you know, written any Python yet, if you're just passively watching these videos, these series, without uh, downloading Python and getting your hands sort of stuck in with the Python, then I really strongly recommend that now that we're writing programs in files, that you actually start to write these programs out, just as I have, just typing out the code, because it will get you more used to writing the code. And if this is your first program programming language, which I'm assuming it is because this is a beginner's tutorial, then you're probably not very used to writing code, and this will sort of get you 
into the rhythm of it and it'll get you more used to writing it so that you feel more comfortable writing Python code and then it'll start to become more easy as you get more practice doing that. Okay, thanks for watching this fifth part of the Python for Beginners tutorial. I, I know it's quite a quick one, but I wanted to just get the first program written so that we can then write a more complicated program in the next tutorial which is going to combine our use of operators and strings and you know doing some mathematical processing to be able to write a more functional application something that actually has real use even with the basic skill set that we've already learned in Python um, because I'm a really strong believer in project-based programming so doing things that will use the skills that you've learned to actually accomplish something that's functional and I think that's really really a uh, good way of learning because it, it sort of keeps you motivated to do the things that you need to do to progress in your Python education.